course, now you guys probably seen some videos of this already. I'm gonna just jump on that bandwagon and do it as well. I mean, I was trying to do it yesterday, record a video for you guys after all this time, two months or so, um, and it, the recording software I was using kind of screwed me over, and the the footage was basically worthless. So I kind of already know what's going on. I'm gonna get all the stuff in the airplane here um, for you guys that have not played the game or have got it yet. Uh, if you're gonna get a game. Uh, it's only $15. It's on Steam. Early access. Definitely recommend it. Even though um, it's kind of buggy. I mean, it's an already it's just an alpha state, so you guys can't expect too much. But the, for the fact that it's so far ahead of, you know, <laughs> some AAA titles these days, which isn't saying very much, and it's an early access game is ridiculously amazing. So, usually the first thing you want to do um, in this game is try to survive, avoid the cannibals, and... Uh, start off in a shelter, what I'm going to do right now, so, um, I can eat these, or blueberries, so, oh, see, there's already cannibals over there, I just <laughs> happen to land on their turf, and they don't seem too happy, so, I'm going to hurry up, and try to get what I can off this, uh, plane crash site, without getting caught, because those sons of bitches are pretty tough, um, when I was playing yesterday, I mean, like, fucking one, two hits, and you're half health, lower than half health, and, um, yeah, so, uh, you know, kind of want to avoid them. Uh, the suitcases, you're going to hit with the axe that you get to break open, because they're basically locked, and, uh, they got quite the assortment of items, and they always have shaving cream for whatever reason. Like, if I open this one, it'll have shaving cream in it, because, oh, I'll oh, get back here. Damn it, I missed. I'm playing fetch. I'm gonna name. What, what should I name the salamanders or the, the lizards? Okay, they're lizards. All right, I'll call the bunny rabbits Thumper. Ah, wonderful! It's fucking raining. God, gotta love the rain. I mean, I don't know if it's just me, but um, I love the smell after it rains. Why is everyone packing goddamn tennis balls? Like, get back here. No, oh, you're just going through the trees. Where the hell did you go? Oh, a stick. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to find a. A good place to start a shelter because that's what you need to uh, fall asleep. Uh, save game doesn't work yet, so be warned. Kind of, it's kind of screwed up. Doesn't work if you quit the game. There you go. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna make these videos. I'm gonna have to make a holy shit. I look like I'm am I all muddy or am I burnt? <laughs> Um, but, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it a video series or just a one video compilation, something like that. I'm not sure yet, so, uh, bear with me here. Um, I mean, it's been a while since I've talked to you guys, so it's kind of new to me that I'm making videos again. So, please do excuse if I kind of sound like a newbie, even though I'm not. Alright, I need to start building a shelter because I'm full of Notorian sticks. Okay, so, maybe I should... No, I don't want to build it near the beach because it's wide open. Um, oh, by the way, guys, uh, every time you play this game differently, um, it's got a different map to it, so the airplane will crash in different areas. Uh, anyway, to open, you you have a survival handbook. You press B, and uh, you can go through construction. Information's not available yet, and introduction, stuff like that. I already know how it works, so yeah, fire, shelter, storage, stuff like that. Um, I'm going to close this inventory, you press I, you got a cool layout that I really like, rocks, sticks, it's really cool. Um, I do want to find a place to build a shelter, but I'm not exactly sure that for the safest place to do that. I mean, I would do it right here, but uh, you kind of got quite the opening to the beach, that if there's cannibals walking along the beach, they will easily spot me. So maybe I should do it up on the edge of this cliff over here. So I kind of got uh, no way of getting snuck up behind. I, why did I, Why can't I skin them? I know you can skin lizards and then you can cook them on the fire, but it's not working out. All right, Thumper, come here. Thumper. Thumper. Thumper, don't run from me. I need you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so now I... <laughs> Thumper. Look around. We've got quite the view over here. You like that? Oh, I, we could have some interesting times together. We could lay you down right here. Oh, look, look at the nice view, Bambi. Oh, yeah. it's. 
<laughs> oh, I just my name's Magic Bambi, and you know Bambi you get the dumper, the rabbit from the movie. Oh, it's just working. Out. Oh, it's raining. Okay, I need to get some supplies before I lose track and get eaten by a cannibal. Get get my axe back out. I'll eat you thump later, thumper. Later. Yeah. All right. Let's finish off with this tree because I'm getting quite distracted by thumper here. He's just he's just screwing me up. I kind of like that I chose this area, but you can, because you can see, it's like at an incline of the rest of the forest, so you can kind of see what's going on around you. So hopefully I'm not going to get snuck up upon as easily. Along with, I can build walls around my house. Okay, so I just need three more logs, and I'll be finished. And then I can build walls around and stuff like that to kind of make a defense, and then I can put traps, cool stuff like that, can't wait. Um... Due to the fact that the game's uh, save feature is not working properly at the moment, I might just uh, do different live videos. Like, if I die, I'll do a different video for another life, and so on and so forth. Okay, so I need one more log, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the, uh, the tree down. Really glad that they uh, put the effort into these kind of animations. I mean, you're not going to... I haven't seen this in any other game. And especially a, an alpha game and uh, just the fact that they put all the effort into an alpha build and that it includes everything that they had said it would just makes it even better I mean this is what rust should be like should have been like all right okay so since I don't need I'm gonna start building a wall because I don't want to waste this log or a trap Deadfall trap. I don't know how that works. Defensive wall. Hopefully I'm not wasting my wood here by building this and it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, can't really see because of the angle that it, it shows it at. You have to ro rotate it by holding R. Okay. Looks good to me. Build it up against the tree and they can't fit in between here, so... That should be good, and it'll block me. I'm not sure exactly how the cannibals' physics work, if they can see you from a distance, if you're heading behind something. I don't know. I've had a couple encounters in with my previous playthrough that kind of screwed up, like I said, with the footage. And, uh, <laughs> I ever, actually never saw them coming. I mean, I could see from a distance and see them walking around, but the fact when they would attack me, they would just come out of nowhere, and I'd... Yeah. They they usually travel in like groups of three or more, which kind of sucks because they are powerful. Fall this way. Okay, thank you. That way I don't have to run down the beach. Oh, oh this is going to give me a lot. It's five. It's a bigger tree. At least they're not rolling down the hill. I don't know why. Uh, the birds always flock to your, <laughs> to your house. It's really annoying. I was playing last time and on the map that I was on, there's actually a... Oh, yeah, the boat's right there. The crash boat over there. Those constant seagulls just on the boat for whatever absolute known reason. All right, so I got a defensive wall going on here. I can't get through that. It's just a fact of whether they come from that way. That is a huge tree. It's like the Whomping Willow from Harry Potter. Guys haven't seen those movies? Definitely recommend them. That was my childhood right there, Harry Potter. <laughs> um... I actually went to, when I was younger, the, uh, actually not too long ago, it might have been like three, four years ago, three years ago, something like that, and um, that bird, are holy crap, they're dropping me free feathers from the sky, but anyway, three, four years ago maybe, I dro to, we drove from up here in Massachusetts all the way down to Florida, and we had gone to uh, Disney World and well, the Universal Studios. And at the time, they actually built the um, the Harry Potter world at the Universal Studios. So we'd gotten there, and it was pretty cool how they recreated it and everything. If you guys have seen the movies, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, they uh, built, like, Diagon Alley and all that stuff. And they actually had the Ollivander's uh, wand shop that uh, Harry went to in the first movie to get his wand. And um, there's actually a, a huge line to get in there. There's actually like a kind of exhibit thing you could go in there. And they had like a gift shop. You could buy wands and stuff. And to get in there, you actually had to go through a basic 
recreation of Ollivanders. They got all the wands on the walls and stuff. And um, the person that was basically working in there... Why, am I, why did I cut down a tree? Oh, well. Um, I was putting a defensive wall. But uh, there's a person working in there. And uh, he basically was basically recreating the owner. And he would pick someone out from the crowd that was in there to basically get chosen a wand for them like Harry Potter did in the movies. And um, while I was in there, he picked uh, some woman that was on to the side, and she didn't want to do it, I guess, because she doesn't like attention, I guess, or something. So he uh, he chose me instead because I was raising my hand and everything. I was excited. And he brought me up there, and he was asking me questions, making me hold these different wands and make <laughs> and do different spells with them. And, uh, Wizard is really hauling ass. And he was making me do, like in the movies, he was making Harry Potter do different spells to see which one fit him. And he was making me do that. And I would do different spells. And it would do different sound effects around the building. And if it was a bad wand, it would do a bad sound effect, stuff like that. So, he was pulling different wands off the shelves. And then uh, as he finally gave me this one wand, he made me do it. And it was like the wind blowing up underneath me, like in the movie, how it was like perfect for Harry Potter and all that stuff. And it did that. It was pretty corny, but it was pretty fun at the same time since I was, you know, a little bit younger. And uh, it was a pretty good experience overall. Um, anyway, so back to the game. Story time is a little bit over. <laughs> it does get nighttime after a while, so that's when they get a little bit more active, so it's kind of scary. <laughs> um, I have to build some traps around here, otherwise I'm going to just build all these walls for no absolute reason. So, traps, right here. Oh, right here. Happy birthday, trap. Um, uh, the way I think this works is uh, they walk over and it comes up and spikes them, but I'm going to do this one instead. I'm not exactly sure how it works, though. So I'm kind of afraid to place in the wrong place and then, you know. So, oh, cannibal's over there. You can see him in the distance standing there. Oh, they're coming by. I gotta hide. I need one more log, it's right here, for the trap. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. Yeah, see, if they came over here, I'd be screwed. <laughs> oh my god, I just said it. No! <laughs> I can't believe I just fucking did that, no! Does it reset? That fucking blows. Ah, I can't believe I just screwed that up. Can you even walk through this? Oh well, I guess it'll serve as sort of a wall or something for now. I can't believe I just did that. That's fucking stupid. Oh well, I'll put a trap right here probably. But from the looks of it, they are going the opposite direction. Well, actually, no, they're still over there. So it kind of sucks. I'm going to put a fire here first. Um, okay, fire, fire, fire. Right here. Standing fire, basic fire, fire pit. I'm going to do a fire pit just because it lasts longer. I'll put it right there so it's kind of hidden behind the wall. Which hopefully makes a difference. Yeah. You'll see me looking around every so often. I just gotta make sure I don't get snuck up upon because that would kind of suck. And would end up with me dying. Because, as you guys saw, there's like a group of five of them over there or something. And I would have gotten gangbanged by them. <laughs> not, a, not literally gangbanged, but in the fact that they would absolutely destroy me so people kind of list this as a horror game um if you guys saw pewdiepie play the game and if you haven't i'd recommend it because what happens to pewdiepie in his video series i guess of this game um you can't classify it as a horror game i'd like to classify it more as a survival terror uh because you kind of have the terror of these cannibals trying to find you and looking around, you know, it's kind of a little terror scenario, trying to hide from them and everything, kind of like amnesia, but you can fight back, and you're on an island, 
and not in a castle. So basically, you get the you gotta get the gist. Okay, so that's done. I'm not gonna light it yet because it kind of attracts attention. Um, I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna go to sleep until it's morning because nighttime is no bueno. Uh, if you guys don't know, no bueno means it's not good. All right, so I should be good now. And press Z to sleep. Normally that would save your game. Unfortunately, the game is not. It's broken at the moment, so the saving feature doesn't work. But normally, if it would work, that's what sleeping would do. It would save your game for you. Okay, so that trap kind of screwed me over. Or I, I screwed over myself. So I should probably build another one. Um, traps. Happy birthday trap. I'll put it right over here. Put it in between the space so I don't have to build another wall. Okay, hopefully that'll work. Alright, so I need sticks, logs, and rocks. Sounds good. That's what everything else needs. Got some more sticks just lying around. There's rocks over here. But like I said, I will be always looking out for the cannibals, and I recommend you guys do the same because if you guys saw PewDiePie's video, he wasn't doing that. He, he was actually looking around and I was watching the video and you guys, he was playing at nighttime, which was one of the biggest mistakes to do. And um, the guy snuck up on him. Uh, he, he even looked around and you could see their flashlights and torches and he didn't notice them. And that's when bad things happened. Okay, I can't hold any more rocks, so I might as well use them on the trap right now. Um, as I can notice as right off the bat, um, as you shit. Some of them right there. Okay, so I'm gonna hide. Okay, it looks like they're turning around. Um, as you get more stuff on the map, like I'm building this stuff, the game gets a little bit more laggier because it's having to render more things. So I'm gonna try to uh, change the settings here. And if it doesn't work then it might crash so hopefully this won't do anything bad the fuck oh, okay so when you have the paused open when you click it still clicks in game so you can get attacked in the menu unfortunately I might just have to turn everything down that's kind of suck it's gonna look so bad. Alright, I'm glad that it didn't crash the game or anything. Okay, so it does look a little bit different. It's not bad though. I like it. I actually like it better than that, like this because the motion blur kind of gets annoying after a while. You know, it does kind of look. It gets choppy. I'm getting it says 27 FPS right now, which is pretty bad, but oh well. There's motion blur. If I turn motion blur back on. It's, yeah, it's down to 24, 25. I don't know, motion blur is one of the things that'll affect your FPS quite significantly, so I don't need it. Don't need it one bit. Okay, so back to what I was doing. Might as well cut the tree that I was half chopping down over here. <laughs> well, in the pause menu, so. Yeah, I mean, after a while, after you start building stuff, you're going to get a little bit of lag. I've got a pretty decent computer, and uh, this, com this game is running quite a bit. Just like, you know, Arma 2 and all those games require a bit of CPU, and it's just... After a while, it gets unbearable. So hopefully this game doesn't get to that. Come on, tree. Work with me here. I just need your logs. I gotta build a trap. Come on. <laughs> it's the fact that it's so low, I don't think I can cut it down anymore. There we go. God damn it. Watch out for cannibals. Yes, thanks for falling that way. I don't want to go down the beach chasing stuff. You can also carry two at the time. I was watching other videos. People are only carrying one. Like, come on. You gotta try this stuff, guys. Alright, I only need two more. Good, 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 good. 
because I already got two more. This is the third one over there, I think. Okay, now I just need some more sticks. Swag. Oh boy. Oh, that's the totem thing standing. I saw cannibals over there just a second ago, so. I gotta be careful. Oh, wait, is it up the right way? I'm not even gonna try to set it off. Okay. So now that I'm protected from that side, can they even walk through this? Oh shit, they can. Well, gotta build a wall there then. Oh, the fucking Campbell right there. Time to place some more traps down. I kind of need something to eat. Something to eat something. Granola bar out. Oh, by the way, you can actually wear lizard skin as armor if you click uh, left click on it. Congratulations, you're wearing lizard, and you have more protection. <laughs> okay. Um, where'd this guy go? Is there only one guy? I'm kind of trying to stand still. What the fuck? What set it off? Oh my god, did fucking ra a rabbit or something set it off? Can animals do that really? God, a waste of my time. God. Damn. Fuck you, Thumper. You fucked my day up now. Now I'm gonna die from a cannibal. Unless they... Actually, I don't think they can walk through that. I don't want to try. I might die. Okay. I'm all bloody for some reason, I guess. Because I killed a rabbit. Alright, what do I need? I'm cold and wet. I gotta build a fire. I don't want to build a fire. It attracts attention, but I gotta cook food. I kinda want to build up a fortress first. Before I do anything. Kinda shivering. Uh... Yeah, that's why I, I'm doing that. Okay. These, these traps are useless, but the animals will just set them off, so... Another defensive wall, I guess. Put it right where this other trap was, because it's kind of useless now to me that it's set off. Can you walk through this? Nope. But you can walk through this part, so I'm going to put the wall there. Alright. Got to get some more logs for that, then. Can you cut this down? Nope. What about this one? Nope. Yeah, so there's some trees that you can't cut down because they're basically dynamic and they're just chilling. They're just looking good. They don't do anything. Alright. Cannibals, just leave me alone. Like that bush right there. I thought I was a cannibal. Time to... Really... Really pissing me off. Okay, let's go. Just gotta build this other wall and I'll be protected from that whole side. Thing is... What happens if they come from the other <laughs> I don't think you can build doors because there is a wall with a doorway that you can build, but th there's no doors, so it's not like you can close it. They'll just walk through the doorway. Hey, how's it going? Is this where the party's at? Then they'll walk in and fucking murder you. Like, what's the fun in that? Hopefully it's something they'll add in the future. At least Rust has doors, but Rust, that's about it. <laughs> I like Rust, but uh, so far this game is just so far ahead of that, and all the there goes all my logs and my hard work down the... Oh, Salamander, I need you. I need to cook some of you. Thank you. And you. I need your skin. And I need to cook you. Come here. <laughs> Alright. I still haven't finished the fucking rabbit thing. Which kind of blues. Alright. I'm going to try to change the settings down to super low. Because... Laptop. <laughs> they considered the lowest laptop. It didn't change anything. I'm gonna see what it looks like on the very low. I just wanna see. And if it changes the um FPS at all. Oh wow. Yeah, so it doesn't even matter what graphic settings you want. If you have all this stuff for the game to render, it's gonna lag nonetheless. Uh yeah, light that fire. There we go. Yeah, cook the uh lizard. I'm pressing C. It's not doing anything. Uh, don't you tell me it's got that issue again. Come on. Put it on the fire. Put it on... Put him on the fire. It's not working. 
Maybe I gotta get it hotter or something. I don't know. It's not letting me put them on the fire. Oh, it kind of scared me. <laughs> My own ward is scaring me because of the fact that it's got body parts and everything. C. Press and C. Come on. Ow. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Ow. 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 Run that shit off, man. Run that shit off. That's hot. Ow. I still can't put the lizard in the damn fire. Well, I guess I can't eat bitches because this lizard doesn't want to cooperate with me. Alright, well. Might as well make another Molotov. Because I can. Alright, time to get some more logs because... Holy shit! Flaming rabbit! <laughs> that rabbit... <laughs> <laughs> he did not choose a good time to come in here. Fucking rabbits, man. They set off your traps. They fucking walk through your fire. Like, that. Thumper don't give no shits. Thumper don't have any time for bullshit. He just fucking rolls with it. Come here. I need you to... I need to see if I can cook you here in a second. Can I wear your skin? Nope. Just raw rabbit. Okay. I would assume that it wouldn't... <laughs> wear a whole bunch of thumper skins as your clothing or something. How do I wash it off? I don't have nothing to wash. What the hell do I need teeth for? Whatever. Oh, I'm quite hungry. I don't have any damn food. Because the lizard does want to cooperate and go in the fire for me. So, gotta get some logs. Without getting caught by any cannibals, which could be anywhere by now. Never mind you. Yes, go that way. That way, push you rabbit. What are you doing? You're gonna die. I gotta save you. By killing you. Holy shit. Holy crap. Yeah, this game's quite buggy. I was playing yesterday and got hit by a cannibal and it flew me into a wall or something like that. A tree and it killed me. So yeah, there's quite a few bugs here and there. And also I was trying to, uh, like I said before, you can actually get captured by the cannibals. And then they will bring you to their lair and then you have to escape which kind of sucks because I fell through the floor of the cave that they bring you to uh, time to make another wall I'm quite surprised at how far I've gotten I was not expecting this at all I guess I chose the right place to build a house Yeah, now I can cook on this fire, but no, not the advanced fire over there. Alright, well. I'm gonna enjoy this fire for the night. Until my food is done. And I get attacked by cannibals. Which will suck. I wonder if they can fit through the doorway. That'd be funny. Oh, I can see the flashlight in the distance, right? Come on, where is it? I just saw it. Right. Right there. They're coming over here. That's not good. Can I eat that yet? Eat. Eat. Okay, perfect. Go to bed. Time to go to bed. Oh, still nighttime. Not good. Go back to bed. Because the cannibals... Uh-oh. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, they haven't seen me yet. Just go to bed. Wake up in the morning. Wake up in the morning feeling like cannibals. Ah, oh, shit. They can, they can get... Oh, no, 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 no. I don't have a fuck weapon. No, 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 no. No, no. Run through my fire. Be stupid. Run through the fire. Run through the fire. Why you... You better not be able to run through my wall. I'll be quite upset with you. That guy's stuck over there somehow. Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. Hey, let me get my axe out at least. And... My Molotov. Yeah, burn, bitch. <laughs> They're not even attacking me. Like, what the hell? Are they scared of me? Oh my god, there's like fucking four of them. There's one right there. Okay, I have a feeling this is a... I'm gonna die here, guys. Uh-oh. They're getting smart. 
Oh my god, there's way too many of them. There's one just stuck here. Can they even get to me or something, or what's going on? Okay, they can get to me. They can get to me. Catch on fire. Catch on fire. Catch on fire. No, burn. Burn. Oh my god, the lag is just ridiculous. I am so sorry, guys, but it's just gonna have to end like this. I, qu I actually feel quite protected in here. Even though I'm kind of screwed. Okay, I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to kill you. Because you're just walking around in here like you don't give a shit. This is my house, motherfucker, okay? Just wanted you to know. Oh my god, they're stuck down there. Oh, I don't want to be like them. That's why they've been fucking attacking me. They're just getting stuck. Okay. Holy shit! Holy shit! There is quite a few of them out there. This guy is somehow still alive. Can you just die? I need your body parts to make that ward totem. No, you can't escape. You're in my territory, okay? You can't escape. This is just how it's gotta end for you. Oh my god! <laughs> that is how it ends, people. That is <laughs> I don't even want to play after that. Oh my god. Am I in their cave? Yes, I am. Well... Seeing how you guys kind of get the gist of what's going on here. I think I'm going to end it here, guys. Until this game gets some updates, because... Yeah. <laughs> I hit the guy, and the body part exploded and flew me out of here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, video series, whatever it ends up being. And I will talk to you guys in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Magic Bambi, signing out.